Hey folks, welcome to a late, late night uh, ep uh, episode of YOMO. This is the Year of Magical Learning podcast. So today we're doing uh, Reflection 236 and we are back with uh, a uh, the third installment of the um, the book um, Anti-Factual by uh, Nassim Nicholas Taleb. So uh, hopefully this is uh, going to be an exciting one, even though it's a late, late night uh, uh, yeah. podcast. <laughs> Yeah, the um, it's like the uh, do you remember Never Split the Difference with his um, you know Chris Boss, you know, yeah, yeah, late late night DJ FM radio, yes. you know, voice. So we should we should do this whole one and 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 the and the late night DJ FM voice work. We are, I mean, you know, yeah, anti fragile. It's, anti -fragile. Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a great thing. Things yeah. that gain from disorder by Nassim Taleb. You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> did we do we we do that one before, right? <laughs> Yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So hopefully, um, hopefully the audience know what we're talking about. <laughs> a late, late night DJ voice. You know, the soft yeah. spoken. <laughs> it's, a, it's a negotiation strategy uh, tactic. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, but no. Today, today's reflection is about curiosity is anti fragile. Um. So, uh, I did started started this off as a little like fun, you know, um, scenario. So let's like. Let's let's you know the definition of fragility as we all know is, is being easily broken or damaged. Um, you know, uh, so I thought like let's give an example to set the stage here. So I like to think of you know uh, a beautiful porcelain vase sitting on a tiny pedestal in the middle of a, a room of toddlers at a daycare center, right? You know, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it looks looks great. It's a beautiful vase, very valuable. Like you know, but we all know it's just a matter of time before one of those toddlers accidentally does something stupid, right? Um, so the daycare center for fun, you know tasks its employees in the daycare center room to, to protect the base you know so first they um they put a lot of rules in place um they they tell all the kids like hey you know like no touching it ever like you cannot be around it you got to be within five feet of it like you know no 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 running near it whatever but they, you know tell all the rules and the, and the kids clearly violate it all the time and they're like okay all right, we gotta go to we gotta go to phase two here so then they start to put up a bunch of barriers, you know, um, around around they erect barriers around the vase. They're like, oh, this should work. And then, you know, during one game of football or something like that, those stupid toddlers are throwing stuff whizzing whizzing by the vase and like, oh shit, like we didn't we didn't think about, you know, up above or something along those lines. So then they go get like, you know, um, a you know serious you know glass case. They they encase this whole entire thing. You know, they uh, they seal it floor to ceiling. You know, and um, you know they they think they sit back and they all have a lemonade and they're like, okay. I think I think we're good. There's no way those idiots are going to do this. And then right after that, an earthquake happens, and you know, uh, uh, <laughs> all the big shakes, and then and then all the, the vase is fragile and falls on the floor and breaks into a million pieces. And you're like, well, shit, you know. So like that's that's like fragility to me. Okay, and so that was what I wrote about in the story. Now, um, you know, the thing with with fragility is like it's it's um, uh, there's a million ways. <laughs> you can't protect anything like when something's fragile it's going to break eventually right like it doesn't matter what you do how many how, what lengths you go to to try to protect it you know it it's just vulnerable i mean it is what it is like uh it's uh, it's, it's it's nature right it's, it's nature it, is to uh be in pieces it's going from uh, order to disorder that's what that's what fragile is exactly so but maybe start to think like you know what what is the most unfra or anti fragile thing out there in the world? And for me, as I was writing this reflection, I was like, it's curiosity. Here's why. Like, there is practically zero downside in asking a question. Like, who cares? If you ask a dumb question, who cares? Like, you know, if you ask a great question, it leads to more questions, it leads to more questions. Then those questions turn into, you know, ideas. And then those additional questions, then they turn into things. And then those things become vulnerable and fragile. But like, you know, whatever, like that's, it is what it is. Cause if it breaks, you can always go back to square, you know, the first principles and start again with another question. Like a question. A well, question you actually, you, the, you don't, even if the, even if you, you ask a question and you don't get the answer, you get a, a, a an answer of what it is not. So exactly. you, whatever, whatever the outcome is, <laughs> there is a, a positive result to it. Regardless exactly. of what the outcome is, is a positive result to that particular uh, outcome, it, exactly. it just like you know, like you said, you know, if, if say, hey, you know, uh, which way is it? So if you say it's the wrong way, then you know that way is not the way, and so it's an information, it's value information. But always say, hey, you know, that means you can say avoid that particular road or whatever piece of uh, information that you you're getting. So even right. a a a non answer is an answer. Exactly. No, I totally. So like, you know, I started off this journey with the question of 
can I find a way to stay connected to my daughter and and to be an active father in the in the present? Um, you know, with with my daughter, even though she's not here, that was the question that I asked, right? And um, uh, I mean, eventually, that was that was kind of what this all boiled down to for me, and and that was the exploration that I'm on. And I've hit a lot of dead ends, but at the same time, I've hit a lot of you know good areas, and we'll continue continue to explore this for the for the rest of my days, you know. Um, and we'll find new ways to 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 stay connected and together. And then you and I, we asked a beautiful question together of you know. Can we start a business with a culture first with that without a, you know, without ever having an idea? And um, and can we then turn that into something, you know, great? And then that's led us down 500 different avenues, you know, at this point in time. And we'll continue to ask more and more. If we get another dead end, we'll say, yeah, well, that's not it. We'll keep going back because like, you know, the the idea of what we're trying to do and the, and the questions that we can still ask and, and generate, you know, is is totally anti-fragile. I mean, we could do this for forever, you know, if we if we still are captivated by the question and we want to continue to ask more and more questions off of it. So my 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 reflection from this one is curiosity is anti-fragile protect your curiosity ask as many questions as you possibly can and uh um you know never stop questioning the world around you so that, that that's it love to turn it over to you love to get your thoughts yeah cuz i think i think this is a, a a very good topic to discuss but it's also very i guess hard to understand because it's it's opposite of what we used to cuz everybody knows things break things go and that's what we expect Right. But we don't ever expect things that goes the opposite. And so when we look at that perspective, it's hard, it, it feels weird because it's new. It's unfamiliar. Right. And so when we talk about anti-fragile, people don't understand because the only way you can, you can because the thing is, even if we give you an example of anti-fragile, which is like curiosity, which is, you're absolutely correct on that. We're talking about the muscle building. Like when, when you break down the muscle, it actually builds up more. So you're actually gaining from losing. Mm-hmm. And you're talking about the hydra. When you cut one head off, two heads will sprout. So that is when you when you when you when you shatter something in the fragile way, it actually builds it. Um so when we so that I think the question would be, you know, um what is anti fragile uh for you and how can you use it? And that's something that I think it's it's um I think it's important to ask because we don't understand how to accumulate the 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 outcome or the uh the the end result. I think I think that's the thing is over um I guess over time you want to be focusing your skills or your effort or your uh time on something that builds and not break. Right. So right, you know, so what is it? And you're talking about wisdom, right? Wisdom is actually anti fragile because mm-hmm. you think about wisdom, right? It's just a collection of experiences. And so mm-hmm. you look at curiosity and wisdom, and they're the same because as you as you have more, the thing is, do you ask you this question? Like, let's say we have two identical twins, right? One twin, nothing happens to him. The other twin, one thing happens to him. Who has more wisdom in the end? Right, because things is breaking him down. Right, he's yeah, gonna get I mean, us. Of course, I yeah. learned from that. Hey, <laughs> this is not what I should not be doing. Right, if I go to uh, a poker table or I you know I play this hand, I play that hand, right, and I lost. Right? right, so every single loss, every single failure you have, it's actually teaching you something. You you're collecting those value experiences. So, right. you, so that's what I'm saying is there can never you, be anything invalid. It's invalid. Invo- there, there's you can't, there's nothing but upside in asking a question, even if it's the wrong question. Like, if there's just, if it's the right question, it'll take you down the path to. to right, because to then if you, you, I mean, if I ask you a question, so you can if I ask you a, a, a question, you can answer yes or no, or you don't answer. Even when you don't answer, it's an answer to me. Right, it, yeah. It's a response to me. I say, well, if he don't answer, that means he's in this camp. If he answers yes, right. he's in this camp. If he right. says no, it's in this camp. So even if you don't answer the question, you you still receiving valuable feedback, and that's what I'm saying is, if we as a as a collective can understand the things that are anti fragile, what I'm saying it is very difficult to understand. You're gonna have to slowly get a sink into your head to be able to come up with this thing because you know a lot, a lot of time if people are asking you what anti fragile is, you know people have no idea. Right. Right. But but I'm saying is anti fragile. It means whatever is opposite of breaking down. So whatever. 
things happen to you, the more things happen to you, the the the, the something gains bigger. Like let's like say when you dig a hole, right? The more you dig, the bigger it gets. So so that is kind of like um, against the grain of of our, our human uh, thinking because when you when you take away something, it always gonna go smaller, not bigger. But when you take yeah. dirt away, the hole gets bigger. So in that concept, right? It becomes the sort of a, an anti factual concept because it goes against uh, the the uh, the concept of of what we we used to and think of. If you break something, right, that's what it's gonna it's gonna shatter. It become less valuable. But right. when when you look at things that are anti factual that's gonna help you over the long run. And I think you know over time, uh, anti factual to me, it, it is very powerful when you compi- combine that with the with the compound effect. Because yeah. you think oh, yeah. about like, you know, let's say you ask questions, right? You ask a question because a question is, I mean, the more questions more you questions. have, right? right. The, more, the more data points you have, the more data right. points you have, the better, the more accurate your, your decision will be. But you think about asking the question, but over a multiple series, the, the compound effect of it, it becomes exponentially huge because you're looking at the, 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 the exponential power Right. of the uh, uh, of the collection. So I think if we as a as a I guess company member wants to harness the power that is you know naturally occurring in nature and we can understand that and be a student of the anti fragile we can actually use time span to to benefit ourselves. Right. And that's meaning like you look at like curiosity like you say exactly if you can if you can say well if I embrace the concept of curiosity. I embrace the concept of trying different things and having like expecting failures is going to give you tremendous wisdom in the end. And you'll be, uh, you have the, the, the utmost confidence to do, to tackle anything that comes your way. You become more nimble, more flexible. I mean, so you, guess, you look. Isn't losing then anti-fragile or failure, I guess, is that anti-fragile? It is, is that... anti-fragile. When you yes. fail, it's anti-fragile because the thing is you don't learn anything when you when you, uh, when you you win. Because the thing is you win. Because the thing is I win, but I have no idea what condition makes it a winner. Because it, right. if, if, if I change a slight condition, which which basically in 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 our world, our world is in, uh, is, uh, you were talking about the wicked environment and uh, the kind environment. In our world, is a wicked environment. In wicked mm-hmm. environment, all it means is in chaos. And so chaos is like very unpredictable. I mean, a small change, a tiny, minute change can have a huge effect. This is what people call the, the, the butterfly effect, right? Right. The flapping of the wing cause a monsoon somewhere else. I mean, because the thing is, how can a tiny flap wings of a butterfly can cause a monstrous monsoon in another part of the world. And so any slight, tiny changes will cause big, massive difference in outcome. Right. And so when, when you look at those kind of, of environment, we want to use the, like, like I said before, you know, you, you have to understand what kind of environment you're in and then using the measuring tape or measuring tool in that environment to measure the the uh the elements in that environment don't take one uh ruler in one world and turn it into the chaos world and try to measure it it doesn't work that way so if you think about it so if if you if you if you are for me it's like i say when i program something i always expect failure i'm expect at least 10 failures before i said well this is uh, i think i've exhausted enough option and even then i know how i only got like 80 or 90 percent of all the coverages meaning like all the different scenarios that i can think of i know there's at least 20 percent left that is uncovered but like i said you know because i i expect them what i do is i i'm more i'm more flexible and nimble in 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 approaching a problem with different solutions and so having the 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 i guess the um I guess the, the, the mental state of embracing the anti factual nature of things, you going to massively get the outcome you want without even realizing it. This is this is what I'm saying is because a lot there's of times nothing, there's you, nothing but upside. Like there's nothing but upside. Like I mean But not only upside, but the, the, the upside is so so massive. Right, exactly. It yeah, is I mean, so it's, massive. It's not, it's, it, 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 it will blow your mind how much you will be accomplishing 
and you'd be surprised how far you've gone. Because you think about, let's say somebody were to 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 start having all these um, experiences that happen to them, what that person can do is almost limitless. Right. Because he's able to handle, he's seen this before, he experienced it before. Those experiences are similar to the curiosity, the question he, he asks, or the thing that he has to deal with, the thing he has to handle, it's going to give him the, you know, the, the ability to, to use it in, in a pattern that you won't be even recognized. So same thing with the, uh, you know, the human, the human race, right? The human race, like you and I can't do everything, right? You can't co, can you? No. I can't sell shit. Right. But collectively, we have created this massive system of um, having the 90% monkey and the 10% bees because we as a, as a species is able to uh, corner and work together to hunt down a you know a wood mammoth that is like three times, five times, ten times our size, and we're able to. I mean, we, we cause them to become extinct because you know we right. we are the the top predator. Even though we don't have the, the 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 strongest you know muscle, we don't have the sharpest teeth, and we're not the fastest. But even then, we have this collective learning. The learning is anti-factual because the learning because yeah, yeah. the thing is we we, we we can talk about like all, all this stuff like like all this no well, knowledge it, knowledge is fragile learning is 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 uh is anti-fragile in my opinion like, well thing is learn that's what we're doing if we are learning even though we are learning so most of the episode that we we talk about it completely is distinct and more sometimes yeah. they stand on long pieces but overall, the collective, it fits together into a puzzle in our head. You, my right. head and your head, we become more convicted in, in terms of where we want to go, the direction we want to go. And we are more confident in what we say. And regardless of whatever people say, it's not going to change my mind in the way that I live my life. Right. 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 Because but, you, you but think, if, about, if you... think about just clubbing it alone, right? You and I were talking about this, this one book with this one concept or this inspiration. That collectively have you up to this massive like right. piece of of mindset that that we have become in cool. in a matter of three years. You imagine like millions of years that our human our human race have been able to share, like with the books that Nassim uh, Nicholas Taleb share with us. We are collectively learning from him, and he's learning from other people. So it has been passed down from generation to generation to generations. And that is, I would call it anti factor because collectively we have gone so far because we are standing on 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 shoulders of giants. Because right. the thing is, you and I, like, do you know how to make fire? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know how to make, make a wave? You know how to sound like Make a wave. Right? I mean, do you know how to make a rocket? I, no. I, my, my point is, you yeah. don't. But yeah, somebody no. else does. Somebody else does, yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah, else yeah. does because each of us has has a very specific um, skills, right? And, and 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 who we are. But collectively, as an ecosystem, as a species, we have been passing on knowledge, wisdom right. from generation to generation. If you think about it, we are able to fly out of this this planet to to the moon, and we're able to send satellite. We're able to send like like shuttles to to other planets. You think about it. If we are, if we don't have the ability to collectively learn from from the past, because how do you learn from the past? You you can't uh, really learn from yourself. And say, hey, I experienced this, you know, uh, at age five. No, what what about like, all this stuff that that happened before you were born? You learn from that, and that's what I'm saying. Is for us right. as learning. Learning is the ultimate anti factor, but. And in fact, it's not just learning, but I'm saying hey, that's one of the example. Curiosity is another, right? I'm talking about so if you can if you can understand the word the 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 concept of anti factual figure out what it is in your life that you want to embrace that is anti factual yes. and, and 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 you know or, or create it because I mean, to be fair, like we clubbing is anti fragile. Like it's not an it's not a thing. It's not a it's it'll never be a thing. It's a culture, and like you know, cultures aren't aren't totally anti fragile, but they're but if you do it right, they are anti-fragile. Like, I mean, the, the Catholic Church isn't going anywhere. You know, um, the, uh, the, the only reason you can make a cat, the only reason you can make a culture vulnerable is if you tie that culture to a thing. Right. Um, like a business is a culture that's tied to a thing. 
right? Like that is that it, like religion is not tied to a thing. Like, I mean, like, I guess, you you know, like, well, the I thing is, you think about it, anything that's anti facho it will grow over time and it will mm -hmm. grow the more you kick it. Right. And that, that that's to me is as simple as I think I can say to you, whatever's anti facho the more you, you, you put, put anything into it, the more it grow. You can kick it as much as you want. The more you kick it, the more, the bigger it gets, the, the, right. So the well, more questions you ask, right. Right. The more the more data points you get, but it can't so, be a thing. Is what 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 I'm trying to say is is like well, it's the not longer a thing. The lo it's I, not I know, a... I, I'm I'm saying the longer you can keep your 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 question from becoming an idea from and then becoming, but a it thing, could be a thing. Right? Once the thing it, is, once it, yeah. is still a concept. It's it's I, a concept. Fragile is a concept. I, I know. Anti fragile I mean, concept, but a fragile can be a thing. A fragile could be a vase. An anti fragile right. could be a hole. When you say, I told you, when you dig a, right. when you when you take dirt away, when you hit the dirt, right, right, right. you're gonna make the hole bigger. So, as from the from the perspective of a thing, a hole is a thing, right? So the more yeah, you a, dig, a hole, a hole can collapse, good... though. I mean, you could you could easily collapse a hole in it itself. You know, I mean, uh, it's not it's not it's not impregnable. I mean, it's not it's not. Uh... What I'm saying is there it's... is a thing. So that, that was, I'm saying is. Anti fragile is a concept, it is difficult to understand. And so we're yeah, not gonna yeah. be able to get it perfect. But the point I'm getting is, you know, understand this, it's gonna give you a, a an edge. Right. In terms so, of focus your attention on things that are anti fragile is kind of what yes, we're getting. Yes, that's that's right. what I'm saying. And so I'm saying is, you know, I, I know a little bit about anti fragile. I don't know a lot. So there's a lot of the 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 example I give you might not be accurate. Right, but uh, you still get my point. My point is, right. when, when, when something, it could be a concept. A concept could be a thing. I don't know what it is because I, I don't, I, I'm not, uh, you know, ex expert in it. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm new to anti fragile as you, you, right. you know. Um, so it, 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 even, even for um, uh, Taleb, you know, he, he, he stumbled on this answer over many, many years of researching. The randomness phenomenon, the black yeah. swan, and then the anti factor is his solutions to to the problem of the black swan, right? So, so he yeah. has spent an incredible amount of time and effort into it. You and I just read the book, <laughs> and right? So yeah, we, no, we, we, we we need we need we need more training to to be able to answer all the question in a way that fits our you know all the parameters. So, so uh, I can say maybe a whole, but like I don't know. Um, it could be a thing. I don't know what that is. You can't. You ask me right now. I don't know. But maybe you know, in a few years, I might. I might come across something that can represent a thing that is anti fragile, right. right? And I could probably go find something in in the. Um, it's tough. I mean, it's really tough. In in, 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 in physics, right? You're talking about uh, a black hole or some some antimatter, and it exhibits some of these properties. But like I said, we have to understand. But the, the premise of anti fragile is anti, right? Anti is opposite mm -hmm. of fragile. So it goes against the fragility. So so okay. most of what we see today is fragility. So what can we um what we can we find that is not fragile, that is going against the, the grain of fragility? This once you find that and then focus your effort on that, it will give you a huge advantage. So that Absolutely. to me is it, a lesson uh, that I, I'm taking away from this lesson is um, you have to find that it could be curiosity, <laughs> you know, like you, you say, right? Curiosity you know, could be one of values, those. And values are anti-fragile, is what is, is truthfully. Like the more the more time that you invest in the values, the more times they they that they grow, um, uh, and they can't you can't take away somebody's value. Like you know what I mean? Like you can't you can't. How can I even in man's search for meaning? You know, even if you're in a concentration camp, like you know, I still have. I still value learning. I still value balance. I still value, you know, um, uh, don't do it alone. I still value like whatever, whatever I value, right. I still value endure. Like I, you can't take that from me. Like, I mean, like literally that is, that is something that is completely like, like things that are anti-fragile in my mind are things that are abstract. They're, they're ideas, they're concepts. They are, they are, they are questions. They're learning. Well, I they think, are, I think yeah. most of, most of the example we can think of, well, or abstract right now, but I'm saying is if you, I think if you understand it enough, you can probably find some 
concrete thing, uh, mm -hmm. object that exhibit those properties. Well, sci but, science uh, the, is anti-fragile. The, the, the point, yeah, the point, the point is that you know, anti-fragile is the opposite of, of uh, fragile. Right. And and um, it's still hard to understand, even for me and you, right? I know what it is, in, at some respect, but it's still scratching the surface of it. And it's hard to explain to the audience what it is and get them to understand what we mean. Um, what I'm saying is, you know, a lot of times we don't know what we don't know until we come across it. And then we actually, you know, test it out and check out the thing. You know, this is the entire factor. Or it is an entire factor. I mean, it, it, it kind of fits, but it doesn't fit all the way. Therefore, we start to slash it out, start crossing that, just like we do with the, you know, uh, how to explain company to people, right? We start saying a bunch of things, but we're describing, <laughs> like, uh, the majority of its property, but not its whole entire, it's still missing something, even the yeah, whole yeah, time, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. And so, I mean... so, so we, we, we come up with these, these examples of what anti factor is. It exhibits most of the properties of anti factor, but not 100%, because sure. we still haven't, Uncover enough. Oh, I, of, I'm not a of master it. of anti fragility for sure. I mean, I'm like that's that's the point of this. The, honestly, in my opinion, Yomo is anti fragile. Like the more the more questions we ask, the more stuff that you and I explore together, the more you know concepts that we learn together. Like the 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 more that we gain from you know breaking down our our mindset. You know what I mean? Um, of of changing paradigms. Like you know of of you know. Identity is fragile. Like well, this, the, the opposite. The, the what anti-identity is, the discussion is, is anti fragile. We have, right? The Yomo, exactly. So the thing is, we, you, you said Yomo is anti fragile, but I understand what it is. But if you look, if you think, if you take somebody else's, you know, perspective, you know, they have no idea what you're saying. They say, well, you say uh, what probably is anti fragile. Well, okay. You, you, you telling me, you give me a statement, but I don't understand. That's it's not no, a thing. I mean, the, the day that Yomo becomes a book, I suppose that becomes a little bit more fragile at that point in time. But you know this, what, this I mean? what I'm like, saying is like, so I want to, I want to kind of maybe add to the, to the, the, I guess the mud, the, the money water a little bit is, you know, when, when we toss an idea back and forth, we basically hit it. That mm -hmm. idea starts to grow. That's anti fragile Yeah. So let's say we pick out, we pick, a, 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 a topic like anti fragile or compound fact or you know the uh, the rider and elephant right you <coughs> you you hit it to me you say hey this it looks like this I say it looks like that so basically we're hitting back and forth we're basically making a chaos we create chaos around it the more you and I toss the idea back and forth the clearer and the bigger the idea gets that's anti fragile that's what right. we mean when we say company and yomo is anti fragile because what we do on here is we take anti facho and we discuss on on that and, topic and and I will and then we apply it to our stuff going forward, you know. Yeah, because yeah, you like, and I have different perspective. I see different right. things, and I add it to that because the, the moment that I I you send it over to me, say hey, what do you think about this, right? You basically send that idea over to my court, and I say, well, I see it this way, right? It just added to your horizon of a perspective of that particular right. object, and then you say something. It added to my object, to my understanding of that object. So, in that sense, the more we we volley back and forth this topic of whatever that was discussed, it is going to grow our understanding of that particular concept. And so, to me, this is why this is why I agree that Yomo is anti factual because the more we do this, the more this idea or whatever become clear. And become more, uh, more, um, you know, bigger in, in in scope. Because the thing is, I I see a small, like a small section of it. But then when I pass it to you, you see the other side, right? And then you and I collectively see more of its its, uh, um, you know, the the, the, the the yeah, it reveals itself as we keep going. But but uh, but like discussion in general is anti fragile. Exactly. You, you just you, you just made me think about politics. Like politics just grows and grows and grows and grows and grows of, you know, the, the it's, it's, it, it, you know, how it, how it entrenches into our life because there's so many different ways to slice, a, you know, the to, to, to angles to take and public discourse and, and how we want to talk about things and how we want to live our lives and yada, yada, yada. And it just, it just keeps packing people on and packing people on. It's, it gains from disorder. The more that we try to break down each other's ideologies and, and thoughts and deals, 
like the more the, the politics becomes more and more pervasive and, and, you know, everyday life. Right. You know, and um, like discussion for you and I, this is, this is Yomo. Like, I mean, that is what Yomo is. Like if, like if somebody said, no, 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 Yomo is a book. No, it's not like it's, it's not. Yomo is true. And Chris getting together every night to discuss a topic that is applying that we're applying these ideas toward club. which is an abstract topic added in itself that we're mm-hmm. figuring out how can we take these things and continue to make it bigger and grow and grow and grow. So like, like you said, I think you, you know, hit the nail on the head, like each one of these episodes and each one of these topics and each one of these reflections is just compounding on top of each other. And, and, and there's no downside to this conversation. What's the worst you thing think about it? I think it, you know, is, like, it, is, it, it is so much more than just like the idea I told you, because what I say to you, right. Helps you understand, but also clarify for, even from my perspective, yeah, yeah, a, a, yeah. a clear image, a, a clearer image of what I see. But then you also have your perspective and I'm adding your perspective to my perspective. So not only that my perspective gets clearer, but the, the, the more, the more um, I guess, um, angles that, that, that you pass back to me, mm-hmm. that angle gives me more clarity on it. But it only, like, not only that I have clarity on it, I was able to take the clarity and then go apply it to the, to the, 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 the life that I have that live that I have and the the applications of what I've learned from this podcast was going to give me feedback. That feedback allows me to do it even more. So you think about it, yeah. it, it, it is dominating a fact to many different things because the thing is, because I understand it more now, so I can go apply it. When I apply it, I see feedback from, I see, I see reaction from people. I see um, how I feel. There's so many different feedback loop that, that gives right. me in that sense, just by talking to you on, on, on this topic. Right? right. And so, so you look at for this particular piece, like there is so much layers that is impacting the, the collective understanding of, of this topic, not only what we say in this hour, but beyond that, we have the ability to take it and put it to action, that action, get a reaction. That right. reaction give us feedback. Hey, we did this. Well, it's working or it didn't work, or I get this experience, or I didn't get experience, this experience or whatever, positive, negative, neutral, whatever. Those feedback accumulated into the, 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 the already understood concept, make it even more uh, valuable and more beneficial for, for me and for you. In the, and, and, and that's what, that's, this is the, like on this, this is scratching the surface of, the impact it can make yeah, because there I mean, is so it's, many layers that I can't even see them all. There's, there's been many a conversations where you and I have both been like, meh, you know, like, hey, it didn't really, but like, what's the downside though? Like we had fun. We talked we did stuff we like to do. And, and we, we called, we went to call it a night and went, went, went on our way and, you know, look forward to the next conversation the next day. There's, then there's other days that we, you know, we have like really, really deep conversations that really like light bulbs go off and, you know, ahas go off and, and we and we can add more to our to our our club and infrastructure, you know, and um, like and but it doesn't matter either way. There's zero down. Like I like I like I go back to like the idea of downside, right? Like there's zero downside for you and I to have this conversation. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is you say I don't like Chris anymore. I mean, that would be devastating. Like, but not really. You know what I mean? Like I would like if, if I told you one day like true, I don't ever want to talk to you ever again. You'd say, well, that sucks. But like, you know. I guess okay, you know, like what am I gonna say? Right, like, but you, know, thing, like, you, ha- like, you have you know, to understand yeah. that every everything has its direction because you think about it, um, in an anti-fragile, nothing grows without disorder. Right. If 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 somehow tomorrow the world stops being chaotic, then anti-fragile won't grow. Yeah. Right. So so it's not always constant, but because we live in a chaotic world in a, this dynamic world right. it will always go because that is what drives forward this world this world is chaos the world of chaos chaos is like when we, 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 we you mentioned the wicked environment and the kind of environment i like to kind of like rework this to say hey we are living in a chaos environment and that's make more sense i think for me and then in the wicked because i think the wicked it may have the, the other uh connotations of, of what it means but i think Truly, you know, we live in a chaotic, chaotic world because you can't, you can't repeat anything twice. 
not because there's so many different parameters and variable that comes to play. And yeah. that, for example, like back, like um, you remember that book, the the rise of mam, the rise and reign of mam- mammals, right? I read mm-hmm. that book. The guy was saying like, oh, you read you read it? I, I read it. Yeah. Nice. So, so, the, so one what, of the things that comes out <laughs> of me is that you know, um, we become uh this uh survive the the uh the destructions of you know, the extinctions uh, period of uh, multiple extinction period by by uh for the most part what i get from the book is by the diet that we have yeah right the diet we have is actually because so the so the, the diet not only because it's because the diet we, we have evolved our diet but because our diet evolved the plants Evolve the angiosperms evolve as well to to to. You're, you're ruining one of my reflections. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I, I read the book. No, 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 it's good. No, it's you good. Can it. <laughs> you have the same. You have the but, same aha, right? You know. Um, oh, oh really? No, no. Okay. Actually, I'm sorry. That actually was um, from this book called um, uh, um, "An Immense World," because that was that was also about mammals, and I read that right before the rise and reign of mammals. That I'll get to that one because that this is my reflection from that one actually. So yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. But 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 my point is because. And because the thing is, I, I'm saying that this world, we live in a chaotic world. That means that so many variables comes to play. So any slight change will cause a whole different path. Because the thing is, you we the, the the book that book you know it mentioned we have evolved to this uh, you know this kind of species, and we will beat out the Neanderthals and and many other you know sapiens and uh, uh, you know lineage. It because we have been able to evolve with a diet. But if you understand, like, well, if I evolve my diet, but if that diet has become very, uh, you know, scars, uh, scarce, right? I can't continue my diet. Right. So the thing is, we as a as a as a a species were able to change our diet, but because our diet. Changes the 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 plants to evolve because anti sperms well, wasn't evolving until we start changing our diet and then that anti sperm starts to fulfill because the more we eat it the more it the the, the more it, it grows to and, and the more it spread because we help anti sperms evolve anti sperm help us evolve yeah. because it, it, it it's that circular loop because it, it you know so in in this case I mean my puppy doesn't do anything. <laughs> I, I worked really, really hard for that motherfucker to to never do a damn thing in this entire house. Like it just, it just does, it does nothing, nothing. Right. That dog does nothing. <laughs> right, because like I said, like I said, you know, in, in this example, in this example, I, I'm I'm stating the major, the, the major depend interdependency of one another yeah, because yeah. one I, builds I, I, on I each that. other, right? So right. you think about that particular interdependency loop, like one builds on each other. Make that a thousand times, a million times. This billions, is what we. Billions, this is the world we live in. Yeah, so, right, so, yeah, yeah. so, so, any slight changes would cause a dramatic differences in outcome, like mm-hmm. the butterfly effect that I mentioned before. That's why I'm saying is this what we live in is very, very chaotic, and it is driven by the disorder. It's entropy, right? If people understand what entropy. You basically from order yes, to disorder. Yes. That is the, how the world operates. We happen to live in that world. If we go to an, an, another dimension in in the in the antimatter dimension or in the you know another dimension that happened to be opposite, then the, uh, you have to use you know fragility <laughs> instead of anti fragility, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But because we live in this world, you're gonna have to want to embrace the thing that gained from have basically it's like go down the river, you got right. running downhill. You think about it, mm. this this world has already been spinning in that direction. So why are you going opposite of it? Just flow flow down. Let it let it accumulate. Let it, let it well, help it, you flow and serve. You serve the chaos versus it, you know trying to hold back the chaos. That's right. what I'm saying. Well, it sounds it sounds like you liked that book, and I can't wait to talk more about it. Um, yeah, because <laughs> uh, I I love that book. I thought it was amazing. Um, okay, well, it, so, has, it has it has good. Um, I guess it's it's just like the foundational, it, like like it's like it's the first principles almost of like humanity you know of, of, i mean of it's like it, it, it's like some of these things like it's uh i think some of these are known knowledge and some of them are no like they're not more... no i do i do i totally disagree these are these are like you could only you can only see trends like 
by uh, there's no way we we look at the world that we have right now today and we think that this is the way that the world either always is or always will be i know that we in theory think oh yeah yeah like rivers carved out the great canyon or you know or like you know what's one upon a time they're all these continents I mean, all together we can't, like, I mean, we can't we don't even really know that. we don't uh, even know Right. Who built the pyramid? <laughs> right. We, we're not even sure who built the pyramid. <laughs> so right. Uh, right. Um, but that's but... what I'm saying is, even something that we can see, we are not even sure right. how it got there. We have speculations on it. We don't want it. That's what I'm saying is some of these things are, you know, more more like you know, uh, so abstract. You know, but, but at but, the same time, you know, having that's having okay. somebody kind of. Put like two things, you know, just just to post them together. Give me the aha because I would say, well, if 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 our evolution is dependent on diet, and then say, oh, anti-sperm, anti-sperm at the same time was right. also growing up because we did it. We did. We we start changing our diet. That thing drives on our eating. It's just like for for, for us, like. The tree ain't gonna live. We we, we don't have animal breathing out carbon dioxide, right? Yeah. You think about it. So they depend on us, and we depend on them. So we have this 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 uh, symbiotic relationship. And you think about that circle because the more the more we produce, the more they can consume, and the yeah. more they consume, right? The more uh, so they, and they, they release that. So it's that cycle, it's symbiotic cycle, right? right? We 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 grow, they grow. We die, they die. Right. And so it is it is that that uh, keeping up of. Um, um, you know the 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 dependency interdependency of each other that creates this evolution. Because I, I'm saying is like we can't really evolve by ourselves. That's the aha no, I took from from that no, book. Because uh, thing is hell. I I contain multitudes. Remember, I mean, even even you're talking about you're talking about things outside of us. Things inside of us we can't even grow by ourselves. Like I mean, like every we we are we are 100. Um, you know, th- like this is all interconnected you know like 100 percent. okay and so but i got so i got I, that, that... I gotta i gotta ask a favor though like i i it, i am exhausted like i i'm i'm sick i just got done from a tennis match i'm loving the conversation but i but i am like and it's late i i, 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 I it is late for me. it is almost 11 o'clock you know so i'm like i i gotta go to bed and um, okay my brain is um uh you know now you got me like thinking and you know and, and now i'm like you know uh now i'm probably not gonna go to sleep but but anyway, all right. I got to go to bed though. Uh, I, I, right. I hate cutting these off short because I love these conversations. But I'm just like, shit. I got to get. I got to get to sleep. <laughs> like, uh, I understand. Yeah, sounds good, man. Uh, awesome. Oh, all right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. Uh, more discussions to come on anti fragile. We still got two more left. And uh, the question we can leave for you all is, what questions do you need uh, to bring out into this world and see where they take you? You know, because those are curiosities and is anti fragile. You know, or go find mm. other things to be anti fragile. Um, but uh, but yeah. Uh, something to think about. Thanks for joining and we'll see you all tomorrow. Sounds good. See ya.